Good morning, everybody. Today is our last lesson on the renewable energy, and today we're going to talk about sustainable energy. Sustainable energy is a form of energy that meet our today's demand uh, of energy without putting them in danger or getting expired or depleted that can be used over and over again in the future. Uh, so what is a sustainable energy source? We can call an energy source sustainable if it's long-term available and uh, guarantees to meet our needs in the, in the present and in the future. The energy source must be repl replenishable uh, without human intervention. And also, the amount of energy consumed to exploit the available resources should not exceed the amount of energy these resources produce. So we believe that uh, these sources are sustainable. Geothermal energy sources, uh, we were discussing, we were discuss, uh, discussing them in the lesson number two. Hydropower, we dedicated lesson number three to that energy source. Uh, solar, wind, biomass, and wave and tidal power. We are going to talk about these data, uh, these energy sources very briefly in the next few slides. Sorry. Yes. Uh, so solar energy. Uh, solar energy is radiant light and heat from the sun. It's a very powerful uh, energy, energy source. Uh, the Earth receives around 174 petawatts of incoming solar radiation at the upper atmosphere. atmosphere. And approximately 30% is reflected back uh, to space uh, while the rest is absorbed by clouds, ocean, uh, oceans, and land masses. Uh, and most of the Earth's uh, population live in areas with insulation levels of 150 to 300 watts uh, per square meter, or 3.57 uh, kilowatt hours per square meter per day. The next one, uh, wind energy. Uh, wind power is the use of airflow through the wind turbines to provide uh, the mechanical power we discussed in the, in the first lesson uh, to turn electric generators. Uh, wind power, power is plentiful, renewable, it's widely uh, distributed, clean, and it produces no uh, greenhouse gases, consumes no water. It's, it, it is good, but also it has some disadvantages we are going to talk about a bit later. Wind power gives uh, variable power, which is uh, quite consistent from year to year, but it's inconsistent uh, over short time scales. And also, uh, wind power is used in conjunction with uh, some other electric power sources, uh, batteries, for example, uh, electric batteries. Biomass energy. Uh, biomass is a term for energy from plants or any organic matter. Uh, usually people use biomass to heat, either to cook or to heat places, so they burn biomass and release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is not good. But uh, also trash can, uh, that cannot be recycled uh, or reused and uh, often uh, ends up in landfills can be used uh, to produce methane. Uh, and uh, methane and also alcohol can be used as fuel for cars. Uh, for example, here in the Korea, buses run on methane from landfills. It's a very powerful 
uh, greenhouse gas. And one pound of methane traps 25 uh, times more heat in the atmosphere than a pound of carbon dioxide. We should be careful with it as well. Oh. Wave energy. It's one more energy source. It's not that popular and widely used, but it still it is there. Wave power is uh, the capture of energy of wind waves uh, to do useful work, to produce electricity, to desaline uh, water or to pump water. A machine that exploits the uh, power is called a wave energy converter. When wind blows again, uh, over the surface, it generates a uh, drum. Uh, and as long as waves propagate slower than the wind, uh, there is an energy transfer from the wind to the waves. Uh, as, a picture, as a picture at the bottom of the screen, you can see uh, the purple bubble and its trajectory. So it's uh, a motion which can be captured and used for producing, let's say, electricity. Tidal energy. Uh, it's one of, it's one more source of energy. Uh, first of all, what are tides? Tides are the rise or fall of sea level caused by a combined effect of the gravitational forces exerted by the moon and the sun and the rotation of Earth. Uh, tidal energy uh, is a form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from tides into useful form of power, usually electricity. And uh, it's not widely used, but it has great potential. Uh, yes, and tide, uh, tides are very predictable, are more predictable than, let's say, the wind and the sun. Uh, and among sources of renewable energy, tidal energy was more expensive than uh, the other kinds of renewable energy. And that's why it's, it's less widely used. So the question is, is renewable energy sustainable? Even renewable energy can become unsustainable, unfortunately. Uh, if a resource is used up faster than it can regenerate, it will eventually be entirely depleted despite its uh, renewability. So yeah, we can say yes, mostly, most of the renewable sources are sustainable, but there is a but. We have to take into account uh, the following parameters of sustainability. Uh, sustainability has three parameters, environmental, sustainability, social sustainability, and economic sustainability. Uh, let's discuss uh, them a little bit. So, environmental sustainability, it's what people discuss probably the most. It means that the source does not harm any house the environment. And it means that we have to start with a positive energy balance in the beginning. If producing renewable energy device costs more energy than the device will produce in future, it's not sustainable because uh, overall it will be a consumer energy. For example, mining coal is bad for the environment. Uh, but mining uh, near diamond and other rare earth uh, metals for wind turbines, for example, is equally polluting. And anything what's mined destroys complete ecosystems. We should know that, oh, that uh, solar and wind energy they, they are booming, 
But while the energy is renewable, every solar panel and wind turbine is largely made from non-renewable sources. And this energy technologies also have a limited lifespan. So they will expire eventually. And uh, the power plants we have presently, they will have to be replaced. So the sources, non-renewable sources, will have to be used again. Hydropower, uh, building dams uh, to generate hydroelectricity damages river ecology, and it damages river ecology a lot. Uh, it forces people to move to other places, and it contributes to climate change by releasing greenhouse gases from the composition of flooded lands and forests. Uh, let's talk about uh, a bit uh, about social sustainability. It's very, very diverse and complex. Uh, but basically, uh, it entails healthy circumstances for workers and decent wages. We have one globe and uh, we can't provide enough food and energy for everyone. Using the planet's uh, resources effectively and efficiently is very crucial. Uh, and the last but not the least, economic sustainability. Uh, if a technology can be sold without any subsidies, it is definitely sustainable. But, for example, in most countries, uh, fossil fuels belong to the most heavily subsidized products. Uh, according to some data, it's uh, up to 100 billion dollars worldwide. So, uh, how do renewable energy technologies can compete with that? Because they are subsidized just one-sixth of that price. And the following questions arise, uh, which of these can be called economically sustainable? The one we can purchase cheapest, then we're talking about non-renewable sources. So what can we do about it? First of all, we need to use the full matrix of available renewable electricity technologies in the most sustainable way. For example, is building a new dam somewhere? Uh, no, it's definitely not. It will harm the environment and people. But for example, we can put uh, Solar panels on sloped roofs, if they are not used anyhow, too sustainable, yes. We can uh, use landfills, we can use garbage to produce biomass, uh, to produce uh, methane from biomass. It also will be useful. Or, for example, we can uh, use living plants uh, while uh, we will we produce uh, biomass, we can use the plant for something else, for example, for producing rice on the same surface. Uh, the main point is we can and we should think about combining uh, renewable sources to use them in the most sustainable way. And just to conclude, uh, renewable energy technology can lead to reduced emission of greenhouse gases, but for a complete analysis, we need to make sure that the whole production is sustainable. To save the climate, uh, renewable energy needs to be scaled up quickly, and current technology will have to make up a large part of the expansion. And uh, renewable energy sources can and should be combined in the most sustainable way uh, to have the lowest impact on nature in the long run. Thank you very much for your attention. That was uh, our last lecture.